Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, yeah, no, not my normal time. And excited to be on. So we're gonna do a little bit of playing. And I wanna kinda share with you a little bit of something that Stampin' Up's been up to lately, plus some exciting new stuff that's coming out. Okay, so bear with me, I could be a bit of a scatterbrain. But I'm jacked to have some fun. Okay, so we have got, if you don't have these, Whisperweight note cards and envelopes, especially you guys if you're a newbie. This is like element you want in your kind of arsenal. Hello, Laura and Debbie, because it comes with pre-scored note cards and matching white envelopes. Yeehaw! Okay, so we're going to kind of work our way up. We are going to play with the One Wild Ride stamp set. Hello, dolls. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of work it up through the levels. So Stampin' Ups, really, you're going to start to notice, hello, a big push going from what we call the beginner stamper to the casual stamper to the avid stamper, you name it, okay? So we're going to want to be able to do kind of looking at those and knowing um, what kind of cards one might see or might I be referring to when I talk about them. So we're going to slap this guy on here. Now, we're not going to have to worry about this stuff anymore soon because these new blocks... Are, or sorry, not the new blocks. The new labels are kind of to die for. They're pretty unreal. So I'm going to slap these, and you'll be able to see labels from so much more from here on in. Uh, sunny Sydney, how's the weather there today? Okay, beautiful and sunny, which is not something I get to say often living in North Vancouver. I know, you shocked? Okay, so if we were talking about like a beginner card, and so say someone was a beginner and they really loved the One Wild Ride stamp set. Oh, I know. Kathy, just wait. We're going to play with it. I'm actually doing like three or four cards here with it. So, so someone really loved this, but they're a newbie stamper. I'd be like, hey, grab this basic gray ink pad, okay? Because we can kind of knock off all your needs in one shot. So let's do this. We're going to make a simple, basic card to start. So we're going to ink up the motorcycle in basic gray. You have to sing it while you're doing it because it's totally going to help. And I'm going to do one thing. I am going to open my card while I stamp so it doesn't pop open on me. And I'm going to stamp this down in that bottom corner. And I'm hoping I didn't tip him. So, Oh, no, I didn't. Good. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this guy. Okay? And I want you to watch this. So I want to be able to stamp a sentiment on this in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up. Got it? We're going to stamp it off. And then I'm going to start up here. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have stamped that off. That was really stupid. I shouldn't have. Okay, now we're going to stamp it off twice. That's okay. I can make it work. And we'll go here. Now we're going to ink it up, and we're going to stamp it off one, two, three. And then we're going to come here. We're going to hope that my end covered. It did. Woohoo! Got it? Look at that. Throw that ink pad around. Okay, so super easy. Now, what I again, the person at this point, they've needed one ink pad, and they've needed one... Um, stamp set, right? So next thing we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to grab that um, little sentiment and then this one just says, I hope your day is one wild ride. It's fairly well centered. So we're going to ink this up, same color, nothing crazy. We're going to come in here. I'm going to cut, it's, again, it's hard to see because I'm not over top. You are. And we're just going to, look at that, right over top, easy breezy card. Now, these are kind of fun. I had some um, rhinestones kicking around and I wanted a bit more color on these. So I'm gonna grab, I'm actually gonna grab a cherry cobbler one. And with that cherry cobbler, I, something very exciting is happening. Oh, sorry. Okay, I can't even like type it, Erica, without giggling. We're doing a little, now there's actually a bit of an Erica inspired uh, card coming up. But go do your stuff with your kids. I miss you. Okay, so I'm coming in here and watch. We're going to slap a little. Why? Because everybody needs some red bling. Okay, easy, breezy. And, oh, hang on. That one's tight. And then I'm going to go to my trusty mess of, no, where do I want? I want my black. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go here and I'm just going to grab some of my basic black twine. I can't hear anything you're saying. I'm at the rabbit man. I love you. The girls are rabbit meeting. Her girls are in 4-H, and they raised some big bunnies and goats. Monochromatic. Yeah, now, Laura, like, and I think this is really important. People see stamping, and they're like, I can't afford to get into that. I can't have 60 ink pads. You don't need to. So this is what I kind of wanted to show you, is that you don't have to have a ton of stuff to be able to pull this off. Okay, so let's slap this down here. And then all we're going to do... 
So we're gonna just loop that under there to keep everybody tight. Okay, hang on. I'm trying to tie with, yeah, she does it. Look at that, hello, Jame. Okay, so again, look at this card if you're a beginner and you own one ink pad and one stamp set. Easy? Now, they wouldn't need to own, let's be serious, your new peep does not need to own all three of those blocks. Or if you're a new stamper, what you can do is you can get the biggest block. You just have to be more careful you're not getting ink everywhere, but you could operate just on this block and do that whole set, okay? So super cute. Now, the one thing I would recommend, and I know you guys might be laughing at me going, really, Ange? Um, and I lost the pack of cards. Oh, there they are. Um, is don't forget about your envelopes. So you're doing this super cute card. Hang on, I'm opening this back up. Okay, I'm gonna pull this one in, there we go. So we've got our super cute little card. Well, let's take our little envelope and then let's make it match. So we're gonna go like this. And this time I'm gonna do the reverse. So I'm gonna go dark, and now I don't have to stamp off because I'm moving inward. Inward, inward, and now look. Super cute little coordinating envelope for this easy card we made, okay? So, big in our card, yes? You picking up what I'm putting down? Good, love you, okay. Next card we're gonna make. So this one, again, check it out, not complicated. And it's simply that same, this might be your like a bit more casual crafter. So we've got some more ink pads in it. So you've got that same gray and you've got a little bit of designer series paper and then we slapped in a little bit of real red. Yes, absolutely, Laura, work your way down in your block sizes when buying. So start with the big ones and then work your way down. You can always use a bigger one. They're not as easy to handle, but you can work your way down. So we've got that kind of beginner in mind and then we've got somebody a little bit um, kind of that might have some more supplies. Oh, okay, so Jill's saying, when I do a Facebook Live, do I plan out what you're doing? Oh, good Lord, girl, I can't create on the fly. You guys would be like, what are you doing? That is a disaster. Okay, so now we're gonna go to that person that's like here, well, like me, I you have to have everything. I know, I'm so embarrassed. It's kind of actually, it is awful. But we're gonna play a little bit with some techniques, okay? And the reason I'm showing this to you is tomorrow, super exciting, you guys are going to be, oh, just get this stamparatus. Well, Laura, ta-da, look at what I was talking about. Laura and I are like, we're synced sometimes. I have to giggle, because Laura and I think she reads my mind sometimes. So, starting tomorrow, look what is going to be, sorry, I got dust on mine. Look what is going to be available. So we've got this kick bot. You guys are gonna die because you're gonna see that there's more than one Stamparatus here in my house. Um, you've got this kick butt Stamparatus bag coming out. Now I have more than one Stamparatus. Why? Because I have classes and when I've got, you know, three different cards going on on my, on my table, I love to have more than one Stamparatus to move around. So this new Stamparatus bag that is coming out tomorrow, it's $39, but it's $39 well spent. Super heavy duty case. Um, I don't like storing everything kind of loose in my cupboards, so it's got a great spot for my Stamparatus in there. Um, it has got another pocket over on this side in which you can store your extra plates. It's got another one over here where you can store whoops, your grid paper. Um, and then it's got an awesome kind of over the shoulder carrying case. And then you've got another pocket here. So super, super cute. But I'm gonna show you how you wanna use your Stamparatus because if you don't have a Stamparatus, you don't really need a Stamparatus bag yet. Much as I have to admit that I love bags. Oh, Becky, she says, how many Stamparatuses, Stamparati, what would the plural be? Um, how many do I have? I have, I'm gonna be honest, I have four. I have three here for classes, and then I do have one at the lake because I don't like transporting stuff like that back and forth. I'm always scared that in some kind of a, you know, it could get schmucked or, you know, damaged in an accident. Okay. So that bag, yes, Laura, I know. So what we're gonna do next is we are going to take my Stamparatis, no, not all of them, just gonna take one, the Stamparatus, um, and I'm gonna clean this stamp, why? Because I'm gonna touch it and I don't feel like getting covered in basic gray ink. Okay, so clean that guy off, let's pull him off here and I'm gonna show you this technique. Now this one actually, actually I think the original card that I saw a while back when it came out was done by Erica who was just on here. Um, and so I don't really remember what her card looked like but I, I've never forgotten the technique that she did with it because it was gorgeous. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna take um, just a plain Whisper White card, okay? So it's thick, it's already, it's the thick ones. It is eight and a half by five and a half. 
and it scored at four and a quarter. And I'm taking my crease side, follow me team, hello Terry, and I'm putting my crease side up against the edge here. You pick it up what I'm putting down? Okay. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this stamp, and it doesn't even matter if it's clean because I'm gonna drop it on, okay? And you're gonna be like, ah, oh, don't do that edge. I'm doing it, okay. So it is on. Now I want you to watch this because this is kind of lovely. So can you still see the stamp? Oh, you can barely see it. Okay, let's slide it down a bit. There you go. Uh, just because the stamp right is bigger than the screen. So we're going to take that and I'm going to ink it up. And I'm going to stamp him right here. Okay, see what I did? Now I'm going to pop this out and we're going to move it back one slot. That's it. Okay, here you go. Or do you rent? Because if you rent, then people probably wonder what I, I missed what the rest you said was. I'll have to peek after, Becky. Okay, come back one more. Let's do it again. Doop. Come back one more. Let's do it again. Boop. Check that out. Is that not gorgeous? So you guys, you took a Stamparatus. I didn't need any clear blocks because it, like as Laura was saying, if you own a Stamparatus, what do you need blocks for? Like your set, you can stamp any one of our stamps with a Stamparatus. Okay, so this like gorgeous do do do, and it gives you that illusion of the motorbike moving. Now I wanted the darkest image at this right hand side because I wanted it to look like he'd move there. You know what I mean? Like whoosh, that kind of idea of motion. Thank you, Terry. Um, now remember, if you'd wanted it to go the other way, say you wanted darker here and it moving lighter, the only thing you've got to remember, it's a total vroom vroom effect, is you would have needed to start this way because then you could have done your darkest here and move the plate back. So just think about your placement of your card when you're doing it. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm gonna move you back to where you go. Okay, the next thing we're going to do with that same stamp set, I'm not getting anything crazy, you're still seeing the same stuff, is I'm going to take the splooches like that, that's the technical term for them. Can you do the same thing with the Misty? I'm sure you absolutely could, but Becky Ann, I have to be honest, I got rid of my Misty um, purely for the reason that I loved the fact that my Stamparatus could do more. Um, but I do understand that people have already invested in those things, and so you kinda gotta do what works for you. Okay, so I'm gonna take my splooch, got it? Here's the splooch. And we are going to take this bad boy. Oh yes, okay, so thank you. The Misty doesn't move like that, Jamie. You're totally right. It doesn't, you can't kind of move that plate the same way. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna randomly do some sploochies. There's, there's method to this madness, so don't freak out quite yet, okay? Uh, I don't wanna get too close to my motorcycles. I think I went too close, but that's okay. You'll get the point. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do. Oh yes, Kathy, you need to try that tomorrow. Okay, don't know why I just put the ink away because I need it again. But the next thing we're gonna do is I am going to grab, and I feel like it's retired. Did it retire? Can somebody tell me? I'll look right now. I feel like my punch retired and I wanted to cry because I loved the punch. Did the punch retire? Somebody tell me. Somebody who's more on it than I am because lately it did retire. Okay, so um, do not, uh, if you have this punch, don't get rid of it because we don't have it anymore. But if you don't have it, well, it's not a big deal because you can cut it out. Oh, Becky, no, no, I would never throw it in the garbage. I'm not wasteful. Um, I gave it to a friend. I can't do that. I would not throw something like that out. It has value. It just wasn't the right tool for me at the time. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my Smoky Slate cardstock. Now, again, you guys, you don't have to have the punch. So don't freak out if you don't have the punch. You're like, how am I going to make this work? Well... All you're gonna do is you're gonna use your paper snips, right? Because you can do the exact same thing with your paper snip, but if you're lazy like me, you can go, I'm not doing that right now. Cause I don't wanna find my paper snips and cut in front of people on TV. Oh, and no, there's, okay. As I tell my kids at school, Becky, the only stupid question is one you don't ask. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we stamp that on there, which I love. Like I love the sentiment. I love the whole concept of this life is a journey. I was just looking for the punch. Do you like the fact that it was actually touching my hand as I was looking for it? Huh, it's impressive, eh? Okay, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna line this bad boy up and we're gonna punch this one out because I loved it, okay? Fussy cutting, uh, you could absolutely fussy cut, but I did not get rid of this punch and I will tell you the reason, and I do remember it now. I did not get rid of this punch because it was in this stamp set and I'm too lazy to cut. So if I have a way around that, Heck yeah, I'm gonna use it. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 
chamois, and we're gonna floop you off. There you go, so he's not got mess on him anymore. And we're gonna grab some real red ink, and then I'm going to grab, which is something I appear to have lost, and there it is. I've got my Whisper White cardstock kicking around on the table. Hang on. You are gonna witness fussy cutting because I'm gonna have to with what I wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna ink this up in real red. Do, do, do. And then we're gonna stamp it on here, and you're like, and you missed. It's okay, I don't want the whole thing. Okay, so what I do want is I want this super cute little banner. And I love how they kind of made it, um, like kind of worn out. Ah, hello, Barb. Okay, so I'm coming in here. Got it? Got it? Sorry, I have to hold my breath while I cut so that I don't cut in a weird line. I got home from school today and it was that, okay, we took out the Christmas decoration boxes on the weekend. Then I cleaned, you know, like, I, I know, I'm such a weirdo. I feel the need to dust everything before I can put them up. And so I had been dusting, you know, whatever for the past day and a half, trying to get blinds done and that kind of thing. And then I got my Christmas decorations done after school. Hello, Wanda and Alan. Okay, so we've got that part. Now, with this, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my mini dimensionals. I believe I have some in this drawer. I do. Okay, so we're gonna take some of these and we're gonna pop this bad boy up, okay? There we go, and there we go. So that, our Stamparatus, it's 67. If you don't have a Stamparatus, guys, um, Christmas is coming. Oh no, I will be on tomorrow, and Laurel, my card is ready for tomorrow. I am dialed. Um, Christmas is coming. Put the Stamparatus on your list. Tell your significant other, children, anybody who will listen to you. I would like a Stamparatus or possibly a Stamparati. Oh, Karen, I love you. Dust, it's just going to get worse, silly girl. I know, but Karen, my mom's coming. So I have to make sure. Pumpkin pie is a Harley color. Oh, you're right. <gasps> okay, but Kathy, you're going to understand why I chose red because I don't have any pumpkin pie ribbon. You guys, Kathy's totally right. Pumpkin pie is a total Harley color. And by Harley, I don't mean my dog. I mean pumpkin pie is the color of like a Harley motorcycle, which I would love to have. Okay, so I have to focus. Let her dust. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Karen. <laughs> if I were drinking coffee, something would have sprayed out of my nose. Okay, so, oh my God, that was priceless. Um, you know what? I have to say, I think my mom, from the mom when I grew up, where we like had to dust all of the, you know, and we'd get, we'd get checked and whatever. She's chilled out quite a bit, and I don't think she would actually care. I think it's more my own adult issues now. Sorry, I'm just kind of trying to, boop, there. I needed a rough idea. Okay, so now we're going to take this bad boy. You guys are cracking me up, and I love the fact that you're all liking each other's comments. You're all proud of yourself. Look at you all. You're all trash talking like you wouldn't all be doing the same thing if your mummy was coming. You'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm dusting. Yeah, see? Easy to talk trash. Okay, so we're going to come in here, and we are going to go like this. And then I'm going to loop it back, and I can cut off any extra at the end. And I'm going to go like this. I want it to be the same amount, kind of sticking out over there. Uh, do, do, do. And then I'm going to come back one more time. And do, do, do. Yeah, no. <laughs> Karen, we got to meet. You guys crack me up. Okay, so we've got this kind of cute, fun little banner going on behind it. So now, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some dimensionals and we're going to slap these bad boys on like this. And then we'll slap one more down there. If only it were as easy as slapping on dimensionals. Yeah, I may have told my mom to dust herself. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we are all awful. I have to say, I think my favorite part about moving away from home was I was no longer obligated to polish the silverware at Christmas. I hated that job. Like, hated. I'm saying it. I hated that job. Okay. Check it out. So super fun. And not a complicated card, you guys. But a great use of your Stamparatus. Yes. And kind of playing. Now, you can see. I'm going to show you this. Look at. Okay. This one, not done with the Stamparatus. This one, done with the Stamparatus. Why I didn't do it with Stamparatus, I don't know. 
Um, and then the next card, I did, look, you can kind of see where I went. Okay, so this was me playing. Someone said, do I just do these, pull them all together on the fly? No, I don't. I seriously can't pull anything on the fly. Um, I have a hard time knowing my own name some days. So this was my original card. And this one had, I didn't do the Stamparatus. I was trying to get the stamp to kind of do it myself. And I was like, that's stupid. Why am I not using my Stamparatus? So this one, I don't know, I forgot the red ribbon, but whatever, you can see how much more kind of uniform it looks. Everything looks, um, you know, your spacing is even, everything's kind of perfect. And you can see here, not even, not even. And if you're like me, super annoying. Okay, so then here, I went back to it, I used my Stamparatus, I got, you know, my motorcycle the way I wanted it, and then I threw back in that red ribbon. So you've got all those different kinds of elements. And then again, like I said to you, no card is complete unless you start throwing in coordinating envelopes. Now I'd go back and show you those first couple cards I created, but it appears that since I created them, what, two and a half minutes ago that I have lost them. Oh no, they're there. Okay. Oops, I just undid the bow. So we'll go back and we'll do the bow back up. But you can see, you can take one stamp set and not a lot of paper products, you guys. It's not like I needed a ton of stuff to do these. Um, and you can just use it and play with those. Okay, so as I was saying to you, so now do you see you need a Stamparatus? And if you had a Stamparatus, you don't need to keep buying blocks, right? Yes, okay, so Laura, think about all the other ones that you could use. They're under the dust. Listen, Karen, you cheeky monkey. Karen's cracking me up. Okay, so you've got this gorgeous kind of concept. Remember that tomorrow, this bad boy is coming out. So you can get your Stamparatus bag or bags for your Stamparata. Hey, 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 Scarlett. Um, starting tomorrow. And so I'll grab you a little pamphlet. I'll show you what it is. So you have an option. You can get the bag on its own for 39. Or if you don't have your Stamparatus uh, yet, you can buy it. It's called the Stamparatus Bag and Tool Pack. I'm not sure why it's called a tool, but it's because it's got the actual Stamparatus in it is the tool component, okay? So you can get your bag by itself or you can get the bag with the tote. I miss you so much too, my sweet girl. She's one of my old babies. She's not old. She's young, but she's one of my old kids that I got to teach. We've got the Wicked New Grid Paper that if you missed it, you must have for your Stamparatus extra plates. Love them. Foam mat. Um, the accessory pack, you can buy the grid paper, the foam mat, and the plates all as one kind of shebang. Um, and you can actually buy extra magnets. For, so for those of you who have exploded magnets, which I have yet to do, knock, knock, on wood or my head. I'm loving that tomorrow I get to dust the new catalog. I know Jacqueline, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so just something I want to let you know. If you are getting your Stamparatus bag and you want to order it with me online, um, I would love to have you do it. And guess what? I'm going to give you something really fun. So if you're getting your Craft and Carry Stamparatus bag from me and you want to use this hostess code or you can email me your order, I'm going to give you a package of this small grid paper for free. Woo, 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 woo. So fun. Okay, so that's my little thank you gift for you. Thank you gift for you. For that now if you're going with the big option if you're getting the bag and the tool pack okay meaning I'm getting my Stamparatus with its pretty bag because why would I want my Stamparatus without its bag because I need to have a place to store it all and make it look pretty then you're gonna get two things from me you are going to get and you do get a foam mat already with your Stamparatus okay but you are gonna get from me as well you're gonna get the Stamparatus plates and the small grid paper. So you're gonna get both. Now you're like, why do I need four plates? Why? Because if you're making cards, you guys, and you have four separate plates, that allows for up to the placement of eight separate stamps you can have working on one card and flipping and turning. Um, and I'll show you it more this week, but without doing any kind of movement and having to kind of reset and clean your stamps. So wicked deal. Remember, buy your bag, get your grid paper. Buy the whole shebang, get both of those bad boys, an extra set of plates and your grid paper, okay? Easy, breezy, cottage, cheesy. Anyway, remember, head to shopwithnorthstarstamper.com. Make sure to use this host code. You cannot do this until tomorrow. You can email me tonight so you don't forget and say, hey, Ange, I want to do this tomorrow and I want to take advantage of it because I want to get those goodies. Now, if you are getting the Stamparatus, I cannot recommend enough. Grab your one wild ride. Pick your ink color or two. Um, and you don't really need a ton to get going with this, you guys. It's perfect if you're a newbie stamper. And it's perfect if you have somebody in your life who loves motorcycles. My goal to, is one day to own a Harley. My husband has his motorcycle license. Except he says it's dangerous for me to ride on them. Because I have to admit, I once fell asleep on the back of his motorcycle on the Squamish Highway driving up to Whistler. Yes. 
he thought I was just way too relaxed and swaying too nicely with the way the bike was moving. And so if you have four plates, you can go stamparazzi. Oh my God, I love you, Jacqueline. Uh, yeah, so my husband, after that, he had to buy, like, I have a hilarious strap thing he used on me. I'm dangerous on a motorcycle. Literally, I just find it so relaxing that I fall asleep. Okay, so you guys, you saw some fun cards today. Great stamp set, One Wild Ride, and you can see how it's amazing to use. Any stamp is with your Stamparatus. Get your Stamparatus bag tomorrow. They're way too stinking, stinking cute. I know, Jill. Can you believe it? What a moron, eh? Um, anyway, take care, you guys. Have a great night, and I will still see you tomorrow live at 5, as usual, on a Wednesday. And tomorrow is even more exciting. It's with a totally new stamp set. Well, you may have seen it already, in that some people may have been doing sneak peeks with it, but it's not even available yet, so you're going to love it. Night, guys. Take care.